What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another franchise video. Uh, in the last one, we made it to round four to the Stanley Cup finals, but we lost against Philly. Oh, that sucks. It was uh, it was a really close close series. Uh, we went up 2-0, but Philly just, just took it from there. Um, didn't even go to a game seven. But this uh, this coming season, we're going to be looking to get back in the playoffs to win it all. Um, so without further ado, let's start off with the uh, entry draft. So picking first is L.A. Um, let's just look at the top like three picks here. So it looks like the top six uh, draft picks here are, are really good players that um, look NHL ready. I mean, pretty much everybody's above 77. Um, they look good. I, I can't remember. I think we're picking... 30th let's uh, just sim to our pick we're not going to move up um don't want to oh we're 22nd okay we might have must have had somebody else's pick can't remember who um but let's just jump in right here see who is available i guess we should probably be looking for a defenseman but there's none here hmm tough pick here should we go for stafford all right, so we're going to go with this uh, Tumo Helenios guy. Um, he's the first one that pops up here. 66 overall um, at a medium top six. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, let's see who else was available. See if we screwed up. Um, looks like same overall. It's pretty much in the same ballpark there. Um, so 30th overall pick here. Let's uh, try and see if we can snag a defenseman. Okay. So... Got a bunch of D right here. Probably be picking one of them. A defensive defenseman. Um, and then this guy we have absolutely no clue about. Okay, so we're going to go with Cedric Girard here. He's uh, supposedly ranked 27th. Um, so let's, uh, let's pick him up. See, uh, okay, not that great. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, 61 overall. Second round, second overall pick here. Let's see uh, who we can... Okay. So there's still those defense available. So how about we pick up the unknown guy, uh, McLean. Ah, oh, still medium top six. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna take a look, see if there's any gems in the in the draft here. Okay, so we got two gems right here. We got Weber, and we got Luke's. Um, so we're gonna go with Weber because he's a defenseman. Let's, uh, let's pick him up. Okay, low top four. That's uh, that's better than those two picks we have. So uh, I'm happy about that. Okay, so we got a gem here. Ooh, low elite. Um, you know what? Let's just go off the board, pick him right now. Um, oh, nice. Okay, so that worked out. Uh, flood, low elite. That's, uh, that's a really good pick. Only 58 overall, so I mean, it'll take a while to grow. But uh, let's jump into the fifth round here. Um, hmm. let's take this grinder. We can always use a grinder on the team. All right, so draft's over, so let's uh, let's re-sign these players here. Um, most of our players are signed, so I'm just going to go through real quick, see who needs a contract, see who doesn't, so just give me one second here. All right, so we got everybody signed there. Um, that last one with Puglia was a bit of a struggle because he didn't want to sign with us. So I gave him uh, I gave him one year with a little bit more than he was asking. So one year, uh, five million dollars. He is an 82 overall. Oops, I don't want to look at that. Um, he is an 82 overall. So uh, our team is looking good. There are some people I let go. So I let go of uh, Myers and I let go of Wood. Uh, reason being, we have young guys coming up that uh, could use the spot. Um, like, ro look at uh, Robertson here. He's a 77 overall, so he would take over most likely um, some spots. So our team's looking pretty good, so let's jump into free agency. And <sighs> Alexander Ovechkin. <laughs> wow, do I go for him? That is the age-old question. Ooh, it's tough, 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 tough. Thing with uh, Alex Ovechkin, I'm going to see if we can maybe snag Nylander for like a second overall or something like that. That'd be cool. Like a 6, 3.5. What does that offer? Like a second year? 
So this is your second round pick. Okay, so we're going to go for Nylander there. We're also going to go for the big fish. Reason being is because... Um, you give him two years at $9.5 million. Why not? He's Ovi. Okay, so we're going to give Ovi two years at 9.5. Reason being, left right year is a 78 overall, so he is most likely going to be playing on the third line next year. Um, I also want to sign this guy, William Nylander. So I don't know what the bare minimum I can give him is to get a second round pick. I think it's this. Yes, okay. So I, let me see just a bit more. Okay, let's, let's increase that a bit more until it turns into a first. Okay, so I'm going to offer him one year, $4 million. Um, all I got to give up is a second round pick. I'm totally fine with that. Um, so budgeting here, we do have a bit left for our defense. So what I'm wanting to do is sign Truba. Uh, actually, nine, four, so 14. So we only have like $4 million left. Ooh, okay. Um, maybe there's just like a low, like coal. Uh, he's a defensive defenseman, so we could definitely use him. Let's actually go to the defense. This will be a lot easier. Uh, Adam Larson's available. Martinez is available, but he's dropping off a bit. I think I think we're going to go with Cole uh, on a one-year deal <clears throat> at 3.25. So let's try that out. So we sent off all of our offers. Uh, let's sim to the next season, see who we get, see who we don't get. Okay, so Ian Cole rejected. I kind of accept. Or, okay, Dini Lander. Uh, he says okay. So they uh, Buffalo just has to agree with the deal. And Ovi is coming to Vancouver. Oh my goodness, we have a superstar coming to Vancouver in Alex Ovechkin. That is fantastic. Oh, um, I also signed Cole into a five-year, one point two five million. That'll make me look like a genius if um. Oh, and Nylander accepts. So that's awesome. Holy cow, we're gonna be stacked this year. We are going to be stacked. So let's take a look, see if there are any free agents left here. Uh not that much. Not that much. We seven million still in cap. Okay. You know what? Just to fill it out, I'm not sure if some guys will be ready. Let's offer uh, Martinez a deal. Uh, one year, 3.5. He's good depth. He's uh, he's won a Stanley Cup before, so um, I just want to bring as many Cup people as possible. See if he'll accept. And he does accept. That's awesome. So we have uh, we have a new team in Alexander Ovechkin. Yeah, I don't want to give up Cole in. I don't know why people are sending trades. All right, so uh, one thing I'm going to do is take the A away from Besser and give it to Ovi. And we're also going to make sure Ovi got his... Oh, no, Chris Tanev had the number eight. You know what? Tanev... <laughs> Tanev can wear a different number. I'm sorry, Tanev. It's Ovechkin. It's Ovechkin. Respect your elders. Tanev will be 81. We'll give Tanev 81. Okay, so a trade has to be done here. Colorado Avalanche is a rebuilding team. They're getting rid of all their good players, as you can see. Um, so why not give them a young, potential, elite defenseman in Ole Levy? We're going to be trading him for Tyson Berry. Um, hopefully we can just sign Tyson Berry right off there, but um, we need to upgrade our team. So Ole Olevi for Tyson Berry. Will that go through? And it will. So Ole Olevi, I appreciate your time here, um, but unfortunately it just wasn't working out. Um, this isn't the lines yet, so um, I still have to figure that out. But doesn't our defense look that much better with Tyson Berry? That is awesome. So let me figure these lines out. We have a lot of players. Just give me one sec. All right. So we got the lines figured out. On the first line, the biggest, the biggest uh, free agent signing in Canucks history with Alexander Ovechkin, Elias Pettersson, and Brock Besser on the first line. Holy cow. That is deadly. Second line, we have the man, Jack Hughes, and your captain, Bo Horvat. 
with Alex Nylander, third line Sven Berchi, Jonathan Dolan. I put him back to center because he does have good faceoffs at a 76, and he's a third line. Uh, his potential is third line. And we got Alexis Lafreniere here making his NHL debut. Um, got some pretty good uh, people he's playing with. And we got Jake Vertanen with Adam Gaudet and Cole Lynn. So there's our grindy fourth line. I mean, it's not the perfect fourth line. I mean, they're low 70s, but they get it done. And on defense, Quinn Hughes, Tyson Berry, Chris Tanev, Pouliot, Ben Hutton, and Alec Martinez. So that's a Stanley Cup winning team. First line here on the power play, Alex Ovechkin, uh, Pedersen, and Quinn Hughes. I put Hughes here because um, he is listed as a first-line forward, but we're playing him on the second line. So give him some first-line power play time. Uh, we got Bo Horvat, uh, Brock Besser, and Alex Nylander. If Nylander doesn't do well on the second line power play, we're going to swap him out for Dolan because Dolan has some pretty good offensive stats. So... Without further ado, let's get simulating. Of course, tradition, we're going to simulate the first game, so I will find that. Okay, we're just uh, just signing some scouts here. I just realized we only have 10 out of our 20 scouts, so I just decided to give some some offers. But first game against Carolina. Let's do this. Alexis Lafreniere, can you score in your first game? Let's see here. First period. And Alex Ovechkin just doesn't even need a warm-up. He's like, you know what? First game, boom, first goal. Let's go. Second period. And uh, Zykov uh, scores third period here. And we take off Alexis Lafreniere scoring in his first game with Brock Besser and Quinn Hughes. Or, sorry, Jack Hughes. All right. So it is now February 1st. Um, so it looks like we're playing a lot better. So I'm going to take a look to see where we are. Um, in the entire league. So first place we got here Columbus, uh, then Anaheim, and then us. So the difference between Columbus and us and Anaheim is a lot. They have 77 points. Uh, Anaheim with 66 and us with 64. So we're third in the NHL. That is amazing. Oh, and uh, Washington's not doing too bad without Ovi there too. 60, uh, 63 points but let's take a look at the last teams in the nhl uh so we got boston florida winnipeg ottawa and minnesota Ooh, boston's not doing too good 36 points uh so let's take a look also at our stats for the players see how they're playing so we got elias Pettersson here with 54 points above point per game jack hughes just pretty much a point per game uh, we got Brock Besser, 23 goals. We got Alex Ovechkin, um, not really scoring too many goals. I mean, I think Jack Hughes and Brock Besser are taking all the goals. Um, but we got Alex Nylander here with 41 points. Quinn Hughes, Bo Horvat, uh, Barry. We got Jonathan Dolan still in 83. Uh, yeah, there we go. Alexis Lafreniere, really only 14 points in 52 games. That's a bit worrisome. That's a bit worrisome. I mean, when we're scoring the same as Cole Lind, I mean, uh, it's when you got a little bit of a problem. Wow, Bitchy has only gotten 10 points. Holy, some of our team is falling hard here. Oh, man, Bitchy, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? So it looks like we're a top heavy team right now. I mean, we do have depth. But it looks like we're a top-heavy team uh, with our goal scoring coming from our top two lines. All right, so we're going to trade Martinez here just for a little bit of an upgrade. Um, we're going to trade Martinez, and we'll try a third. This will 100% go through. It has to. Martinez and a third for Suster. Let's uh, try and get that upgrade, see if that will go through. Rejected? Really? Come on. Okay, maybe a 7th or next year's 5th. How about that? All right, so that trade's accepted. That's awesome. We uh, just added pretty much just a defensive um, player for our team. I don't even know if Schuster was playing. Yeah, for some reason he's down there. But let's bring him up, get those lines all sorted out. All right, so the end of the season is done. 
and we match up against the Dallas Stars. Okay, so before we hop into any of that, let's take a look at... Ooh, Ovi's down to an 88. Eee, that's not good. He was a 92. Well, he was a 93 when we signed him, but a 92 at the beginning. Uh, so let's take a look at the entire league here. Columbus did it. Columbus... Uh, Kept with it there uh, and captured the President's Trophy. 118 points. Dallas fifth. So we did fall off a bit. You know, we were third place. Uh, we fell off. Let's see where we landed. 11th with 95 points. I mean, not too bad. Not too bad. But let's take a look at the last teams. Is it still Boston? Yeah, Boston is the last team. Minnesota and New Jersey. Um, so they, they are probably going to get good players. This draft, uh, I think this draft is going to be really good, but let's take a look at our team, see, uh, how they've been doing. Alex Ovechkin here, 33 goals. Uh, we got Pedersen there, 57 assists. Uh, he is on fire. Brock Besser, 32 goals and Quinn Hughes, 33 goals. Holy, 34 goals from Quinn Hughes got more goals than jack what the heck look at that okay jack hughes 33 goals quinn hughes 34 goals so we have one two three four 30 plus goal scorers on our team holy moly um alex nylander is doing really well he did really well there 58 points horvat ah uh, not a really good year for our captain um, only capturing 34 points. Well, I mean, it's two points better than last year, but I'm no, I know Bo would probably want to do better than that. Tyson Berry, 34 points. Uh, Jonathan Dolan, 30. Alexis Lafreniere ends up with um, 22 points in his first year. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all, but he is an 81, so I'm expecting bigger things from him next year. Sven Berchi, 21 points. That's a bit underwhelming. This this third line uh, didn't do too well. I mean, jo Jonathan Dolan captured 30 points, but I expected a lot more out of these two. Uh, Chris Tanev, 21 points. That's a pretty pretty high year for him, actually, I think. Yeah, so Chris Tanev decides to set his own uh, personal record. 21 points. It's the most he's ever gotten in his career. Uh, seven goals. Colin, 20 points. Uh, Pouliot, just under 20. God dead. Jake Vertanen. We all know this guy likes to come alive in the playoffs. All right. So last thing to do before we end this video off is to take a look at the Dallas Stars. Um, they are fifth best in. They are fifth best in the NHL, and we are better than them in offense, defense, and goaltending. So. We should, uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to jinx us by saying this, but we should beat them. We're better in every single category, but let's take a look at their offense, which I'm assuming is crazy. Yeah, <sighs> Jamie Ben. we got uh, Braden Point here is an 86, Valerie Nichushkin, Radulov, Thornton, Dadanoff, um, Giryanov, Shore, Felino, Nyquist, Ifalo, Ifalo. Uh, and Donskoy. So, I mean, not the best. Like, we have a better first, second, um, and I'd say third line than them. But they have depth is the thing. Um, they have nobody under an, uh, an 80 overall. You know, we have a couple 77s uh, and 78s. So, they have a really deep team. Let's take a look at their defense. Honka, Klingberg, Liddell, Heiskanen. So, it looks like this guy is... Uh, this guy's a bit of a bust, too. I mean, no, he's only 19. I can't say that. Uh, Scala, uh, Scandella, and Hickey. And in net, Ben Bishop, an 88 overall. So this guy looks like a wall. Um, so this is going to be a tough team to play against. But, I mean, looking at our team, we look pretty good, too. You know, we're going to be a tough team as well with, uh, with all those additions that we've added. Hopefully, Ovi can win another cup with us. Um... This I think this is our year. I honestly do think this is our year to win um, the Stanley Cup. So for the playoff tree, um, in the Western Conference we have Nashville versus uh, San Jose, us of course versus uh, Dallas. 
We got Anaheim Ducks versus Vegas and Chicago versus Calgary. Moving on to the Eastern Conference, we have um, the Washington Capitals without Ovi. So let's see how they do with that. Uh, Carolina, Columbus, the president um, of the NHL. Then we got Columbus there with uh, Montreal. We have um, Buffalo against Tampa Bay. And then we have... The Toronto Maple Leafs against the um, defending Stanley Cup champions in the Philadelphia Flyers. So, oh, big, big episode next episode um, to see if we can capture it all. I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to see what we can do. Um, but, yeah, that's that's going to be it for this video. Pretty productive video. You know, we picked up lots of uh, good free agents. And, of course, the biggest uh, free agent signing in Vancouver history, maybe even in the NHL, Alex Ovechkin, coming to the Vancouver Canucks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like that video, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our playoff run. Uh, but that is all it for me today. If it's anybody's birthday today, happy birthday, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,